taken 25 questions, help desk or service desk questions from Guru 99. So read all the questions, try to find out what it is. OK, so I'm sharing this link, one link, first link. So where is your batch? The second one is in the service test at in service test, same service test. You can see service test level. OK, this is service test. different levels are there guys. L1, L2, L0 service test levels are there. OK, so try to find um, so batch 12. I didn't take uh, 10 is there, 10 is good. 11 is also good. Most of the time, my the service desk is a second day class. First day class is about uh, how to check system configuration, how to check IP address. The second day class is, is uh, our service desk. But for your batch, I change a little bit unnecessarily. <laughs> These are the support level guys. It is not service desk level. It is a IT support level. OK, so it is a self help type zero or L zero is a self help type. It means they will give you uh, like a user. I am getting a problem, so then I have to oh, need and help so then um, they will provide a, a self-help portal kind of stuff IVR you know when you got a problem then you call to the toll free number or a uh, customer care number you will get an IVR right so press zero to English language press one to, to Telugu language press three to Hindi language change language press four like that it is there right um, and what is the issue related to this bank statement or maybe change of password like uh, if you want to call uh, talk to uh, uh, executive then press nine. OK, so uh, that is like a, it is self help. Next one is so mobile applications are uh, uh, URLs are there so you can go to that one. So then there is a list. What are the issues? What is your issues? Then you have to give that information. So this is for a uh, getting an information what customer is getting a problem okay, based on that. Next one is tire one. Next one is tire one. Tire one is a basic help desk solution service desk delivery. So if I'm not getting internet, I call them then they will give please check this connections place connectivity and uh, deliveries means uh, application deployment or service deliveries. Service de delivery means like make sure that customer got the uh, what is requirement or not like that. OK, so basic help desk solutions and service desk deliveries. Tire 2 is a in-depth technical support. So if you have an issue. So then your call is directed your ticket is go to directly tire to level support only why because of this a main support in-depth knowledge technical knowledge idea about what is your actual issue for example i am using some application some like a tally kind of business application is there i'm using a business application i'm getting a problem so then i'll contact uh, first i will try to contact through Tire zero means self help portals or I given a complaint like a through email or a their portals. I will try to contact. This is the issue. So who will contact me? Tire two people will contact me about what is the issue I'm getting. For example, I forget my password. Reset my password. Level one. Okay, level one. I know my password. Password is correct. User is correct. Password is correct. But 
server is not authenticating me means I, it's not accepting anything it is telling no username no password like that there is a big issue right tier two understand guys you forget your password tier one or level one your server is not working like a service something issue is with your server okay so this big problem then it is tier two tier three expect product and service support means the guy is having a full expertise tier two and tier three is a tier two main mostly maximum issues from lower to higher level issues will be resolved by level two only most of you are will get in a level one only level one support you're all level one support people not level two support people level two need a, a specific domain knowledge means networking or a server or a cloud or a, a linux servers or maybe a, a virtual machine what means virtualization related things or application related a database related a particular domain knowledge support is there okay so tier one is a basic level knowledge so overall and basic knowledge and the basic deliveries okay access permissions that kind of stuff tier three is a ex expert in the particular domain experts in the particular domain and full fledged like they want need a change something then they, they can able to do it Tier four is a different part. Different part means it's an outside support. Type. You know, some guys will work for a two, three companies at a time, like their infrastructure support, because they no need to be sit in one organization, and one the organization cannot feed him that much money. Like every month, uh, the salary as per his seniority and the experience, and his requirement, uh, daily requirement for him is not daily required. <laughs> okay. Not daily required. So what it is required, it is outside support for a need. Uh, uh, okay, so he will do a freelancing kind of stuff. A two three organizations use him for is their support background uh, architecting kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. This is a full explanation about what is tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four and other related information and some additional information also added here. Okay, guys, this is the service desk uh, levels. It is under this one only. If you have a doubt, then also I will uh, give you one by one link. First one is about a service desk or a help desk. 25 questions are there. Next one is service desk levels. OK, of course, SVOC uh, like uh, SOP also there here. So I will share that. Next one is service operations. Service operations are uh, mainly operations like event management, elect uh, kind of stuff. OK, um, incidents, problems, change management comes under uh, service request comes under service operations. I have taken this some notes from tutorials point. Okay. Service operations ensure that services are being provided efficiently and effectively as per SLAs. It include monitoring services, resolving incidents, fulfilling requests, and carrying out operational tasks. Actually, where I taken this information. Yeah, I will take it from here, guys, so because I want to follow one side. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, look at this is again about a service desk, right? So that's why I'm writing the service operations part again. I will add it. What is service desk analyst will do? Service desk analyst provide technical support to customers and employees. Means both the side. Okay, working in organization and for clients also. 
in some companies you handle technology duties such as a software installations troubleshooting okay maintenance computer health you respond to phone calls emails live chats and other communication this is one part there are several uh, uh, service desk analysis the way is there it is a below levels small level basic level definition what is a service desk again first and single point of contact it is a single point of contact so any issues occur either internal customer external customers or public customers so they will contact a service provider so that call is goes to service desk only okay what it is service desk will provide a it coordinates activities between end user means the person who is using a service and it service provider team team it also won't log request and ensure closures of their request okay so won't log the request means what are the what are the things come to the service desk what will happen a ticket will be created it can be service request or incident report or it can be an alert ticket will be created okay so everything is in the ticket so that is and the ticket status like a ticket created new ticket ticket is open and uh, checking that is open ticket ticket is resolved the ticket what are the mention the ticket it is resolved then close the ticket the entire history is of course in the at the service desk will happen okay so there is a four type of service desk one is a central service desk local or distributed service desk four types right where is other two types Hmm. here it is virtual service desk specialized service desk okay this is also came into last okay virtual service desk and specialized desk service desk after that one only networking basics will start okay guys again what is service desk it is a first and a single point of contact don't forget this one okay service desk provide a initial support to the customers or users or clients provide information to the customers okay understand customer issues customer requirements deliver the customer uh, uh, as per the requirement resolve the customer issues manage the ticket create the ticket escalate the ticket okay to the particular team so then team will be resolved and close the ticket once issue is resolved maintain the history of customer uh, records okay so it is a, a coordinate between that you co users or a clients or a customers to it service provider teams okay so that is the one point central uh, yeah different type of service desk is there that is you can read once so that's my point i have to keep telling service desk. and this is itl point small part i will what is this service operations okay okay service operations ensures that services being provided efficiently effectively as per the sls it include monitoring services resolving incident fulfilling request and carry out of operational task what is service operation part is make sure that the services are running fine make sure every service is running good okay no interruptions 
we have to monitor make sure all services running properly any issue is occur we have to try to resolve it any issue is, is about to get it is also try to resolve it okay so maintain our as per sla service level agreement to make sure that customer get a service service operations includes five process four functions service operation deal with the day to day activity and uh, infrastructure that has been used to deliver service service operation where all design transition plans are executed and measured from customer point of view okay sorry i uh, service operation is where all design transition plans are executed and measured meaning is what are the service we are providing to the customer so we design that service at service provider level okay at service provider level we are design the service we build the service and uh, we have to deliver the service right to deliver the service service operations are useful okay and uh, make sure that service is got by customer and it is utilizing and it is working good okay so like that, that is the service operations duty from customer point of view service operation is where actual value is seen generally guys uh, we are not telling more uh, uh, examples uh, to the students nowadays okay but okay point is is like you know when you buy mobile phone nowadays most of us purchasing a mobile phone uh, yeah it's okay which is a branded mobile phone more popular mobile phone based on that we are purchasing earlier days you know when you want to buy a mobile then is a service warranty is there if you got any issue to your mobile do you, do you have any service warranty any what is a uh, display warranty okay side buttons warranty okay battery warranty charger is available understand right so any issue you maybe you got some issue for your mobile phone that is comes under warranty or maybe any service centers are there because guys we are in india that is actually compared to a different uh, other country means like rich countries we are far better why because we don't waste anything if something tv got repaired we go and repair the tv now it is very difficult to repair it is directly change of boards and you know earlier days or you have to throw it outside earlier days you know you can if you know okay if you don't know, like you can ask your parents at least but they know very well they they purchase in the olden days like a 20 30 years same tv will run 20 years also same tv no change in it so in the 20 years they got so many times issues they will resolve it so they will call the tv guy give 50 rupees 100 rupees 200 rupees they try to solve the problem that's the what in early days of uses now what happened you buy a tv after two years not working throw it because no repairing stuff there people don't know how to repair it because nothing is inside <laughs> okay that is the best utilization so, so that's the point guys not only our country it is if you are providing a service i am getting service maybe it is internet service it can be a cloud service it can be application services if i am getting an issue is the service provider will give a support to me or not that is the actual point not that so it is a very greatest service not that it is providing uh, like a 100 times cheaper uh, uh, services okay 100 uh, times bigger services it's mainly it is about a how it is working continuously working or not and it is there are providing support or not two things continuously it should work second thing is any issues are car service provider should give support to the customers if not then company will will get a problem right 
another example i will tell guys you are paying for a debit card usage right per year they will charge for a debit card usage earlier it is not there now it is included okay sms charges are there for certain banks I, as i know okay now your debit card is for example you went to atm you insert your debit card and you want to draw money atm is not working okay no nearest to atm then what you will do you keep it in your pocket right you go to another bank atm means not your bank that is different bank you draw more times there is a fine on you okay maybe if you know it immediately or maybe you may realize later they will fine on you because you use a deb your debit card in a different bank for multiple times okay but their bank is not working <laughs> but we don't do anything just we will we'll keep us silent right because we don't fight but in a real company in, in organizations guys your organization your service provider you are providing a service to the organization in the in the in the clients so there are getting the services you are violated your sla service level agreement means you are not providing a service as per sla you are providing different way you are not giving proper support you are not responding to the uh, from client okay you are not responding what are the calls you got from the client you are not giving solution immediately are you delaying always disconnections are any some issues they will simply put you all the record they will put all the records into the one file and they will go to directly a consumer court they will sue on you okay your company has to pay a lot of money not in thousands right anyway it is not even a lakhs crores of money they have to pay and that must serious level is in the organization any organization any it or services related or any non it services related but important is service provider provide a service continuously and any issue is there compulsory give the support and continuously monitor the service is very important of course you know already what is event incident request fulfillment and our access or problem management so this did that one i don't do that small point is that one what is sla ola you see this is the last one i am trying to add here anywhere we got a gap no gap you here only okay so this is the part what is sla guys service level agreement sir so sla is in between customer and service provider okay i am a service provider and the customer this is a service provider is a client or a customer so they will agree to provide a service and uh, about their support into a document okay they will mention in the agreeable document between the service provider and client is called a sla service level agreement next one is ola operational level agreement operational level agreement what is operational level agreement guys this is the service provider for example got the got a new project okay this organization got a new some new project we got who have to de who is dealing this project right business unit people are there 
this business you need people are the project manager or higher level people will go business management sales management go for a different companies ask a, like a, do you, i have a, this kind of uh, sorry this is the last point anyway so they will brought project right so business unit people brought a project to the company and they will ask so sorry there are also internal organization business unit people also internal organization for example they brought a new project they'll give to the team who is working on this particular type of projects they will hand over to the team this is the it team working for that project working for that project okay so this is a contract okay or a agreement between business unit and the technical staff okay that is called a ola so operational level agreement means this is my infrastructure this is infrastructure and this is with this part of infrastructure maintained under this kind of project so these are the team is responsible they have to maintain this project they have to maintain these sls they have to maintain these things or maybe it is a software project this is the project this is the customer requirement you have to complete in 3 months okay so within the 3 months you have to complete it. are you able to complete what are the resources requirement so give provider resources the as per the project and the project manager requirement so bu has to provide a resources gather the resources completed in this particular time period okay it is internal agreement only bu means the business unit pay sales units will brought the projects from outside or brought create a new things okay they give it to that internal team for a, who is working related to that kind of stuff so they agree so you have to do in this particular period of time you have to maintain this particular period of time you have to complete in this particular time okay you have to give support for this particular time okay so that is a operational level agreement okay signed between business unit or, or a division and a internal it of a same organization you see underpinning contract underpinning contract is service provider and a vendor okay i am a service provider i need a certain things for example i need a router i need a router so i brought router from cisco maybe i brought a switches from zuniper or a dealing switches i am using and maybe i am using a server dell servers dell Uh, rack servers i'm using okay dell emc servers or storage services so i want infrastructure or maybe i want certain tools or an applications i will get it from other organizations right so that is a vendor so i am a service provider i am providing to service to a client but i am also required something right i will get it from vendors suppliers vendors okay so it is a contract between vendor to the organization that is uc underpinning contract they have to provide a devices products support like that okay so guys out of this one once again before i close when i start with the service days okay what is service desk is important first of all uh, yeah i didn't given a priority list okay so priority list is i didn't given but what is it services different type of it services provided from it organization okay software services infrastructure services cloud services storage services okay um, yeah different services internet services network services hardware services operating system services application services okay support customer kind of support services they are all from it organizations 
IT service provider provide a service to the clients and customers. Okay. Different type of customers we discuss guys internal and external customers. OK, so service provider provide a service to the customer. Customer got an issue or required any information or any need of change of services. They will contact us service desk. Service desk people create a ticket and. Uh, and escalate the ticket to the particular team, so then it will be. Uh, so, so as per the ticket, so the, the issue will be resolved or information will be shared. Of course, service desk is a single point of contact between the users or a clients or a customer and IT employees. Service desk is the initial support, provide initial support to the customers, provide a information to customer, understand customer issues or requirements. Managing SLA is a one of the thing about the service desk guys. Monitoring infrastructures, monitoring service status is also an important part. OK, so different terminology is also important. Event, alert, incident, workaround, problem, changes and service request. OK, so once again, so different service desk levels are there. OK. So level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Sorry, level 4 up to 4. OK, so mainly level 0 is generally self-help, basic support or a categorize based on a customer related issues. You have to categorize what kind of issue it is. So what kind of requirement, what kind of issue, what kind of information they required, either you should provide by default or by provide or a you have to give forward the, the uh, create a ticket and forward. Even a tier one is also same thing, but tier one it is is mainly uh, or a level one is a basic help desk and a, a service desk delivery part. Yeah, guys, for priorities and all, I will share one video that is last week uh, um, one demo session, but that is do not share to anyone. So I will share it separately. Uh, I will tell about that one later. OK, next one is service uh, tier two. Tier two is or a level two is an in-depth technical knowledge, main specific domain knowledge, only server, only router, only uh, sorry, only networking servers are a um, so so separate, not overall knowledge, not overall delivery part. Experts level, so level three is a expert. So uh, and the person who is working at service desk is a called a service desk analyst. Okay, is a provided technical support to the customers and employees. Again, service desk is a single point of contact. Different type of service desk is there. What is SLA service level agreement? That is first important service level agreement. OK, service level agreement. Uh, service level agreement. OK, what is service level agreement for any organization provide a service to the customers? OK, so the organization provide a service to the customers. What kind of service? What kind of support we are providing? It's usually mentioned in a document, the signed document between the customers are a client and the service provider is called a service level agreement. And you have to maintain the service desk duty is to maintain the SLEs according to SLE to maintain. And other few words are there. So guys, I didn't speak about a uh, monitoring tools and service desk tools. If I have a chance, any other chance time is there, I'll do it. And uh, that's it for today. And I will give you some um, information, some few points are there. I will try to share you once again. OK, that's it for today, guys. Tomorrow. We'll discuss a new topic. Hello, one second.